One of the main reasons we perform the ibadat is to gain Allah's pleasure. Today, insha'Allah ta'ala, we will mention four signs that will indicate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with his abd. But before that, we have to know that only Allah knows whom he is pleased with and whom he is not. So we can't go around and say, Allah is pleased with this guy and Allah is not pleased with that guy. No, this is only known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But these are just signs. If someone have them, insha'Allah ta'ala, we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with him or her. The first sign is a saying in Arabic, إِذَا أَرَدْتَ أَن تَعْرِفْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ مَقَامَكْ فَانْظُرْ فِيمَا أَقَامَكْ The Alma said, if you want to know your status with Allah, look what Allah made you busy with. Let's check what am I busy with during the day. Now, for example, I am recording a talk to bring the people close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the same time, I'm sure there are people recording something that will take the people away from Allah azza wa jal. That's a good sign. Whatever I'm doing right now is something good. That Allah is keeping me busy with something good. Similarly, you have found this video and you clicked on it to see if Allah is pleased with you or not, right? So you are also busy with something that is beneficial and that's a good sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you. And we evaluate ourselves what and where we spend most of our time. If our salat is on time, we lower our gaze when we see something haram, we put effort to learn how to read the Quran, we are pleasing to our parents, the sister wear her hijab. Subhanallah, all these are great signs that Allah is pleased with you because he kept you busy with things that are pleasing to him. When Allah make it easy for you to perform the ibadat, that's a major sign that Allah is pleased with you. When Allah makes it easy for you to fast Monday and Thursday, when Allah makes it easy for you to perform qiyam, when Allah makes it easy for you to come and attend salawat in the masjid in jama'ah, when Allah makes it easy for you to read the Quran or to be among the righteous people, all these are signs that Allah is pleased with you. Another sign that Allah is pleased with us is to ask ourselves, am I pleased with Allah? What? Yes, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, رضي الله عنهم وردوا عنه. Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Allah. Al Hassan al Basri, rahimahullah, he saw a person around the Kaaba raising his hand and said, Ya Allah, be pleased with me. Ya Allah, be pleased with me. So the Hassan asked the man, he said, Are you pleased with Allah? So the man, What do you mean? How can I be pleased with Allah? He said, Are you pleased with whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed in your life? Are we pleased with whatever Allah decreed? Do we have complete trust that whatever Allah decreed in my life, it is the best thing for me, whether I see it or not? If you are, that's a great sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you. I'll give you an example. Let's assume that you are a car salesman. How do you feel when you sell 20 cars a week and when you sell no cars a week? If the feeling is the same, if the acceptance is the same, that means you are pleased with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are upset and you start cursing and complaining why there was no sales and you were happy when there was sales, that means you're not pleased with Allah's decree. So when we are happy with the hardship, the same way we are happy with the blessing, that means we are pleased with whatever Allah decreed. That is the second sign. Third sign to know if Allah is pleased with us, check your relationship with your parents. Is your father pleased with you? Is your mother pleased with you? I'm talking about a righteous father and a righteous mother that fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Are they pleased with you? If they are, that's a great sign that Allah is pleased with you. Why? What's the evidence? Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The pleasure of Allah azza wa jal is by the pleasure of the father and the mother. And the anger of Allah azza wa jal is by the anger of the father or the mother. So if my righteous parents who fear Allah azza wa jal are pleased with me, they are happy with me, they're always making dua for me, that is a sign that Allah is pleased with me. Subhanallah. So my brother, my sister, if you have any issues with your parents, make sure you fix them. Make sure you always hear from your mother. Make sure you always hear from your father. Ya Allah, be pleased with my son. So make sure always that your parents are pleased with you. And if you are parents yourselves, please also make dua that Allah is pleased with your children and you also be pleased with your children. The fourth and the last sign to know if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleased with us is to check 
how people treat us in this dunya. If the people love you, if the people respect you, if the people honor you and you're a righteous person, that's a sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you and Allah is pleased with you. The hadith is in Bukhari. Rasulullah told us when Allah loves someone, he informs Jibreel. Yeah, Jibreel, I love so and so, so love him. So Jibreel will love him and Jibreel will notify all the inhabitants of the heaven that Allah loves so and so, so love him. So all the angels will love that person. And then Rasulullah said, he will find acceptance on earth. Imam al-Nawawi, rahimahullah, when he's explaining what does it mean to find acceptance on earth, it means that the people will love him and they are pleased with him and their hearts are inclined towards him. Subhanallah. So if you feel people always love you, always mention your name with goodness. When they see you, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When they see you, they remember to do something good. That's a great sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you and Allah is pleased with you. And he put your love in the people's hearts. And I'm talking about, of course, the righteous, the good people. They all love you and they're always praising you. So these are four signs that if we have them, it indicates insha'Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with us. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to be pleased with me and to be pleased with you, to be pleased with our parents, to be pleased with our children, to be pleased with all the people that we love and the people that love us.